Hello, I am Dr. Saurabh Patwadan from Nanda Deepai Hospital and Feco Training Center and in this video I will be speaking about trampoline cataract. Have you ever experienced it? So what do I mean by trampoline cataract? When we approach certain cases, the moment we start the irrigation on, when we start FECO, the anterior chamber becomes very deep. One of the common causes for this is LIDRS or lens iris diaphragm retropulsion syndrome which occurs because of the reverse pupillary block but it can also occur when there is generalized laxity of iris lens zonular complex which may lead to more deepening of the anterior chamber with the pressure. Also it is seen in younger patients with elastic sclera also in patients where scleral thinning has occurred. So during the surgery, when you start doing FECO, the anterior chamber is very deep and you have to reach out to the nucleus to tackle it. I call it trampoline because it is similar to jumping on a trampoline. When you jump on it, the trampoline goes down. When you come up, trampoline comes up. So that is how, you know, the anterior chamber also looks like when you are operating. So I call it trampoline cataract. Let's look at this particular case. This was a intumescent cataract. So it started off with a shallow anterior chamber. And the moment I started irrigation, what I found that the anterior chamber became very deep. And you will find that on the left upper side, you can see the way the FECO probe or the FECO tip is aligned. You can see I'm trying to reach out to a deeper plane because the anterior chamber has become very deep here. So I, even with the chopper or the Sinsky, I am going very deep in the anterior chamber to have a good chop. And many times for beginners it is difficult because they have to have a different angle towards the nucleus. It is more vertical than the horizontal. And that means uh, that uh, they have to use the instruments and hold the instruments far away from the tip and also should use long tipped Sinsky or choppers. This is very important. The moment I remove the FECO probe, uh, it again becomes shallow. Again, when I start the irrigation aspiration, you can see that it has become deep. Now, uh, when I lift the iris up, the LIDRS releases a bit, but still the anterior chamber is very deep. So this is a typical case of trampoline cataract. So you can also expect little bit of zonular laxity or elasticity in these cases. You can see that after putting the IOL again the AC is of normal depth but the moment irrigation starts again the AC deepens and uh, this is partly because of LIDRS and as I lift the iris up it becomes shallower but not absolutely normal and at the end all looks normal with the normal anterior chamber depth. So what are the possible risk factors for having such kind of trampoline cataract? It is commoner with high myopia operated with trectomy patients young age because of scleral elasticity, deep anterior chamber to start with, large back and large pupil size and also patients with scleral thinning you may expect these trampoline cataracts and the solution for this is you can use the iris lift manure for tackling the LIDRS you can try lowering the bottle height probe need to be tilted a bit to reach out to the nucleus also hold the chopper away from the tip keep the FECO tip more exposed and use a long tip Sinsky or chopper so that the, your reach is much better thank you so much for listening do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, you can visit our website, fakotraining.org.in and you can send your own videos for review and publication. Thank you.